Hey guys, welcome back to Track Yards. I'm Captain Foley. And I'm Commander Cockings, and we have some art in front of us. But tell us more, Stuart. I want to look at it. It's something really cool that just uh, got announced, or <laughs> kind of leaked, I guess. I don't know. Well, um, it popped up. Popped up. Yes, yes. Uh, I got a preview of next year's Ships of the Line calendar, which I get every year, I must say. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited for this one. Um, and it shows off... Well, this is July, specifically. It shows off... Um, John Eves and Scott Schneider's new Discovery Enterprise with Discovery in the background. And I gotta say, it's looking pretty fabulous. First bit of Discovery art of this form and knocked out of the park, obviously by two veteran, uh, well, it was John Eves and then and Scott, who's a lover of Trek. Um, but boy, you know, compare it to the, I and mean, this is what a lot of people have said, you know, compare this shot to the dark, brooding, hyper contrast look of the show. It's hard to see, but like them sort of classical Trek Bright, they just, both ships even, work better. I mean, Discovery, still the wrong colour, but hey-ho. But yeah, it looks <laughs> better. But they picked a, they picked an angle where the, 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 the cells look slightly smaller anyway. But we're here to look at the Enterprise, a new view at a pretty nice high resolution. So, have we learned anything new, Stuart, from this first glance? Hmm... <laughs> No. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I haven't really had much time to analyze this picture in, in yes. good resolution. It's just yes. kind of been on Facebook, and it's not that that great. But, I mean, I'm really liking this ship. Um, it is not the classic Constitution class, which is kind of a bummer, but it is a true enough reimagining that I'm mm -hmm. really enjoying it. Um, mm -hmm. And, like I said from the beginning, this is how J.J. should have reimagined the, sh the ship, something like this, something more in keeping with the original one. Yeah. Um, but I think it's great. I can't see anything that I really kind of missed the first time around, but I'm sure once we start actually getting into the meat of it, we'll find something. So yeah, how about is you? Is there anything that jumps out to you? Actually, yes. But I will say, you know, this one is things that, that finally nail in the coffin of this being a you know total visual reboot. There's its own thing because you can't you know rectify. This is not how it looked at the time, blah, blah, blah. Like it is now a separate thing. Um, and we hope they embrace that because boy, it'll give them a lot more creative freedom. Let's start on the saucer area, because I know something straight away. Look at that deflector. It's actually got a prong plus another little prong that sticks out to make it a double prong, but in more like a classical way. Mm. It's, it's like that, not two. So it's a, an upgrade, but a downgrade, but a quite faithful as well. So a little thing I noticed straight away. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Very interesting. Huh. I kind of like that, though. It's kind of like a more complex... Mm -hmm. Like older style transitioning from the NX01 or the Columbia mm -hmm. era up through. So I think Discovery has more than one prong as well on that deflector. Yes. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but what do you see on that saucer then? What did I'm, that's not supposed to be there? Well, just anything at all. <laughs> I mean, you know the Connie's so well, Stuart. So now we've got a nice, clean, bright image. Yeah. Well, um, it's definitely worth pointing out that there is like a looks like a airlock or some kind of you know i can't even think, think of the term right now it's an airlock <laughs> between the impulse engines um oh you're looking at the ones on the side well that was a la, a la refit i was thinking you know they have one single cargo door at the side and yeah so kind of swing those in well, i do like the shape of the windows the more well that's that's what i want to bring up you know if, if that if those cargo doors are one deck then the source are definitely two decks but those windows are pretty teeny. Like, pretty, pretty... I mean, obviously, you know, streamline them bits but look more like the Discovery ones, but, I mean, these windows do feel smaller to me than on the conventional Constitution class, which makes the whole ship feel a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. I would say so. I mean, there weren't a lot of windows around the saucer on the original one either, but... But then we get to the secondary hall, and the, the lights or the windows are more in keeping with the original TOS Enterprise as far as shape and even placement go. Mm -hmm. um, I never really noticed that the ones on the saucer were a different shape, but yes, they mm -hmm. totally are, uh, which is neat. Yeah. Um, the the Discovery-esque, and it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I think it works. I just really want to see a shot of this top of the saucer. <laughs> We've mm. never really seen it. Mm -hmm. I would have loved that this be the shot of the top of the saucer, but no, it's like, hey, you've kind of seen this before. It's the exact same angle at the end of the Discovery. Here you go. It's like, ah, oh, thanks, but, 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 but bright and clean. Um, one one thing, you know, I've been looking at some ships recently, and the, the way panel lines are on the secondary hull, it's very much like the Enterprise E, sort of very slightly raised, very slightly whatever panels, just to give a little bit of 
detail by not actually doing much. Uh, it's very teeny. But one thing I'm noticing is that shuttle bay door. I mean, if you look at the... If those windows are meant to represent decks... I mean, that's at least four to five decks tall. Based on that, which the other one was, what, two? Three if you push it, maybe? I'd say three, yeah. And that's at least... I mean, that's at least four, if not five, decks tall, which would be cavernous compared to the other one. I mean, that's something I wouldn't mind you know, bit growing, but I would have made it go deeper into the ship rather than upscale the entire ship. Um, what do you think about that? Well, yeah, I mean, the sauce, the um, shuttle bay has always been an issue as far as size goes, um, even just fitting the shuttles in. Kind of get the TARDIS effect thing going on. Um, mm. And yes, it looks like they almost pushed it forward for the sake of having that extra, like, landing area at the back. Which I think is a mistake, because how deep can it really be with the pylons situated where they are? Um, so it, it's it's like it's lost a lot of depth, and I don't know if that works for me. Well, 100%. Unless, the sh- unless the ship's up been expanded by 30-40%, which we think it has True. been, then it's like, oh, okay. It's- True. And it, it should be said, too, that even... W- this has angled struts. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, angled struts actually attach to the secondary hull further forward than the standard straight struts of the Constitution class. Mm-hmm. Um, so it should actually give you more room at the mm-hmm. back there for the shuttle. It doesn't appear to do so here. Um, now, you know, take that for what it is. I don't know uh, exactly how these struts work. Um, is the feed for from the warp core in the front strut, and there's nothing in the back, so you do still have that room behind that strut? I don't know. I well, I don't think they thought about that. I don't think they did either. Because but these struts were not initially designed. I don't think they thought about that. unless they're see-through power conduits. We can see where the power conduits are. They're using cloaking technology. I mean, Takuma had it, so why wouldn't? They? Joking aside, um, but I quite like the lip. I think it adds a little bit of dimension. It's very, you know, it's very uh, Shinjo. It's a little bit JJ Prizey, and certainly that 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 new cutout is definitely sleeker. It's very Enterprisey, very JJ, very you know it, it it follows those patterns a lot more. It does give the whole ship a more elegant feel. It's elongated feel. It makes it like look mm-hmm. fast, standing still, as we <laughs> often say. I mean, it pulls a lot of Enterprisey elements. You know, it, again, this would weirdly enough, weirdly weirdly enough, this would be an absolutely fine post Voyager classical Enterprise that they said, hey, let's make a retro version of the ship. This would be totally possible as a post-Voyager version without any changes, really. Right? <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Oops. Um, oh, well. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do like this ship. I gotta point that out. A lot of people have kind of, you know, given us flack for not liking it or liking it too much, whatever. I like it. Can't win with that, can we? No, I like it. Uh, does it belong in a perfectly, you know, t- original timeline? No, it doesn't. But a reimagined one, absolutely. So I enjoy this ship. It's not the original Constitution class, but what are you going to do? Did you um, Did you hear though? They they the producers yet again uh, did a little article out saying, "Don't worry, season two will will we'll show how we fit into can that your questions will be answered." But it's like, yeah, you said that for season one, and they said that for no tuning for the second half of scene of season one. And they're saying season two is because if you keep saying it, then it might nullify some of the audience to keep watching. If you say, of course we're not going to address it in season one, are you are you stupid? We're going to change everything and people just wouldn't watch it. So you've got to keep saying, we'll address it in season two, in second half of season two. Oh, in season three, that's the season we link to Prime. Second half of season two, three. Well, well, the season four opener. The no matter se- what they do, they can't. Closer, yes. I know, no matter what they do, they can't link it to Prime, though, because... Well, they've we gone know too what far the Prime Enterprise has looked yeah. like, right? And a lot of people have said, oh, it's a, it's a war variant, a war no, refit. It's no, no it's, it's not. Simple as that. <laughs> exactly. The proportions are way too wrong to even have it refitted. I mean, the neck's not big enough or tall enough. Uh, things like that. So anyway, they're going to do something like that. Say it was for the wartime. That's fine. It's not going to work uh, <laughs> for me anyway. Um, but anyway, we're kind of getting controversial here. We don't want to do that because we love this ship. So, Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's great. It, it was obviously a ship that, that, because it was for the last episode, all of the creative problems that were being pushed on the show from the start, you know, there was he had to design the informed straight away and had to design the combat. So had to, all the stuff that is a bit off, is further off, is at the start, whereas they were able to go closer and closer as they went. So this ship, 
benefits from the fan feedback. You know, this 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 was designed after the feedback, after the fan. What are you doing, guys? So obviously they they were able to tell the designers, no, you can make it. Let let's actually go slightly closer, and obviously it benefits. And I think I think there's more positive than negative reaction to the ship, or there might be another Enterprise J. You know, you either love it or you hate it. Um, but it's one of those things that you've got to take it out of the Trek time it is because the whole show is out of the Trek time it is and just enjoy it for what it is. And it's a, a totally passable post-Voyager classical well, retro ship. That being said, I have a question for you. I'm looking at this beautiful picture, and mm -hmm. it's a great piece of art. Um, mm -hmm. Does the Discovery design look more primitive than this updated Constitution class in yes. your mind? Yep. Yeah. So they kind of hit the mark there, <laughs> at least looking at saying that Discovery is a bit of an older design. Yeah, it's not. I want to admit, Discovery is newer, that's right. Yeah. Uh, never mind. It, yeah, it looks it looks more advanced because it has more visible glowy parts and components, and it's not, and it's well, just, you know, there's more, Discovery is surprisingly, is surprisingly smooth and uh, stout. This ship has three dimensions and depth and windows and a full source. I mean, it, it, it fixes everything wrong with Discovery because the Enterprise original was a very well-balanced ship. This just takes on the refit elements and some E elements to sleek it out. I mean, it's a very, you know, it's a, it's a simple redesign if you think about it. Um, I mean, well, let's look at those nacelles for a second because those are quite mm -hmm. drastically the same slash different. I mean, they really have just sectionalized into pieces to add some depth, to add some color variation, to add some who the hell knows what, and it, it tapers in more. Well, actually, well it tapers mm -hmm. in. The original one doesn't. Um, this one does a bit, which also gives that flee, flee, this flow, which you know, Shinjo and Discovery have as well. well. The other one does slightly. I mean, I've seen enough bridge on constitution the cells trust me do you want me to want me to prove it i saw no. the look on your face um <laughs> but this one it's more noticeable because of the segmenting and the just yeah. the added detail um i like these nacelles very much i love the kind of the bulked up section at the front uh it looks mm -hmm. more protected more armored a little bit mm -hmm. and and the back adding that that one kind of fin um intercooler thing on the bottom makes the tri triangle sh I like that I think it's fine it, link it links to the bee and the bee that, that John likes and he added fins to the bee you know, you know there's a very equinox style fins at the top which is not a reference but it you know should be a reference uh, but it shows again you take the simple sleek shapes and you just add plate and detail not sure what it does but it does something and there you go um, I do actually kind of like though for once you can actually see where the light sources are coming from little raised boxes which generate the light it's like yeah okay cool we understand where the lights come from <laughs> that's cool though yeah absolutely um but it's, it's kind of a lightsaber of a of a of a handle uh, yeah i can see that totally is a lightsaber and one thing that i noticed in this one especially is if you look very at the facades you can see 3d elements inside the uh engines which or inside the facades which are not christmas lights I guess slightly close to the the Kelvin, uh, the old Kelvin, the Franklin. Hopefully, it's not going to be rotary propeller stuff, um, blades like the, the the stupid prizes. Um, it'll be something you know. I mean, even even just you know lit filaments will be fine, and then lights and then a ring of lights inside that. I mean, it doesn't you know it doesn't need to move, doesn't need to whatever. Um, but it's interesting to see some three D elements inside. They're gonna make it move. It's gonna be like a propeller thingy. I can guarantee you. Which I don't mind if they do it properly. Uh, um, they just don't learn their lessons, do they? <laughs> mm, yeah. Well. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> um, and of course, we got to point out the inner glowing grills. Those are nice, a nice yeah. addition, and uh, and a little more advanced than the reef, uh, than the NX. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it's something that they always wanted on the original Enterprise, so I'm glad mm -hmm. they got a chance to use that. So. Um, yeah. Other than that, I mean, I think this is a fantastic looking design. I really want to see more of it. I want to see different angles because we've only really seen like it's sort of approaching. We got a glance at the top for like a second from far away, but we didn't see it in enough detail to really know what's going on at the front there. And I want to see the front of this ship. You, you know what's funny? Um, this, uh, this makes you realize that what they should have done is set discovery between TOS and TMP, because there's ample time, make there a mini Klingon war there, make this the USS Discovery, but a Constitution class 
mid refit, like a prototype refit, you know, and then I think this would look like a great, you know, you you get to have an enterprise, but not really. Well, this uh, would be the new Connie official. Yeah. yeah, this would be the new official Canon version of the Phase Two or the Phase yeah. Two variant before the refit. Yeah, I would have been down with that absolutely. Yeah, just just a heavily upgraded original Connie, and they said, now nah, we're gonna, you know, go with the brand brand new tech. You know, I think it shows you how good this design. If this was the Hero ship, it would have looked good. Would it would have absolutely. Um, worked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. So, what do you guys think? Do you like this ship? What do you think about its design elements? Is there anything you change? Anything you absolutely love? Let mm-hmm. us know in the comments mm-hmm. below. We look forward to reading them as always. Mm-hmm. And if you want to help us out, you can definitely do Ooh. so. You can click that link in the description below for Patreon, and that helps mm-hmm. us out on a monthly basis um, to bring you more awesome shows like this. And eventually, talk to the designers like Scott Schneider and John Eves about this design in the future. Okay when they're allowed to actually talk about it. Mm. Um, or you can go over to trekyards.com and click that donate button for a one-time donation, uh, whatever you can spare to help out as kind of a tip or thank you to us for uh, showing up on your screens all the time and talking to you about things and hanging out with you because we love you guys. And or just sharing anything. Fans would enjoy the sort of content. We like looking at things and spreading our thoughts, our words, and our, you know, ooh, look at that. Because when you really look at something, you see more than just a little glance. Because we've all seen this picture the last couple of days on Facebook. But there's a difference mm. between looking at it and trekyarding at it. <laughs> That's a thing now. So anyway, guys, like this video and we like you right back. So you click the like button and we'll click your like button right back. How's that? There's a deal for you. So until next anyway, time. Yes, I was just going to say, until next time, I'm Captain Foley. <gasps> and I am Commander Falcons. Bye, guys. Bye.